Hello friends, I am Ashwin. In this video, I am going to discuss the position taken from the game of Magnus Carlsen vs Yannick Peltier, which was played in 2008. And after move number 46, we have this position on the board and it's a Magnus to move. Oh, but uh, why I would choose this position? Through this position, actually, I would like to discuss the principle of two weakness. And what do you think about this position? Because Magnus is having an extra pawn, but there are opposite color bishop on the board. So winning would be too difficult. So can you see any winning chances for Magnus Carlsen? Yes, indeed, this position is winning for white due to black passive king and black passive bishop. And how is this? Number one, black passive king. Black has a weakness on this b6, and black has a weakness on the king side because those pawns are placed on the light square. So say you are protecting this weakness on b6 by placing your king to c7. Then white bishop can easily go to f7 followed by capturing those light square pawns. And uh, if you uh, say defending this weakness on b6 by your bishop, then your bishop is passive and king has to remain on the king side. Thus this black king is passive. So now we'll see about this bishop. Black bishop will not be able to attack white's king side pawn via this f6, d4 and f2 root d2 tactical reason which I will discuss later on. And other routes are so uh, slow that uh, white king can easily march to b5 and attack this b6 pawn. So black bishop has to remain passive. Now let's see how Magnus went on win. Magnus played this king to e2 heading towards the b5 pawn, sorry b5 square. King f8 with an idea of bishop to f8, bishop to d4 and bishop to f2. And now king to d3 stopping this bishop to d4. You might wonder why this stops this bishop to d4. I will show you. Here comes this bishop to f6 attacking this pawn on b2. And now pawn to b3 in this position. Bishop to d4 can be played. If bishop to d4 is a playable uh, option then this game might be ended in a draw because of threat of bishop to f2. But after bishop to d4 actually white can play this pawn to b4. Unfortunately, you cannot take the pawn, otherwise your bishop is hanging. And if you place a bishop to f2, then Magnus can play this pawn to f5, uh, which is a winning indeed. And here three options for black. One is to take the pawn on g3, but then I can simply play pawn to a6, followed by pawn a7 and a8, which is a winning. So bishop capture g3 is not at all playable. So say you are playing this uh, pawn capture on b4, then comes this... Uh, a pawn to a6 and you have to play this uh, pawn to b5 otherwise simply pawn a7 and pawn a8 so pawn to b5 bishop capture on b5 followed by my king march towards this b7 and i can just play a pawn to a7 and black has to sacrifice uh, this bishop i mean dash square bishop and that would be an easy win for magnus and you cannot collect this uh, pawn on g3 because pawn on a7 so pawn capture on b4 is not playable option. So what else? One option is just to take on a5, but then comes this pawn capture on f5. And here black is too slow because white can simply play a6, a7, and a8, which is unstoppable. Say bishop capture g3, just pawn to a6, bishop capture f4, and pawn to a7, and black bishop is just one move short. So bishop to d4 was not playable at all. So after king d3, bishop to f6, pawn to b3 in the game, bishop to b2 was played. And here comes bishop to d5, making space for his king. So that king can go to this c4 and b5. So bishop a3 was played, now king to c4, bishop to b4 was played, king to b5 and now bishop to a5 force. And now bishop c4, aiming for bishop d3 uh, followed by and this pawn on h5 and if you can't see this pawn on h5 pawn break and then winning is not possible at all this pawn on h5 pawn break or the lever is the key key move to win this position here comes this tricky king e7 and this is very clever idea if you play bishop to d3 then black can play this king to just uh, d6 and after this pawn to h5 he can just take the pawn and after bishop capture on f5 and this king to a c7 and if you play this bishop here and simple this bishop to e1 wins this pawn 
on g3 thus this game can be ended in a draw because this pawn position now I can play just this bishop and basically now there is just only one pass pawn which can be easily blockaded by the bishop and if you just move your king further then black can also king move his king uh, further to f6 and this is just I mean draw position say you are placing your king on f6 your bishop on a5 and just game is draw so that is not the viable option to play bishop to d3 after black's king to e7 which is really a tricky move so here comes this king to c6 uh, sorry here comes this king to c6 very clever move indeed and now threatening this bishop d6 i uh, sorry bishop d3 followed by this pawn to h5 king to f6 was played and now bishop to d3 and king to f7 and here comes this pawn to h5 ingenious pawn break uh, which is the only winning move for white in this position black has to take the pawn if you are playing something else either king f6 or king g7 i can simply take the pawn and after king capture g6 pawn to g4 win some material due to this pin i mean on next move i can just collect the pawn on f5 by playing bishop capture f5 so when i played this pawn to h5 black has to take and after uh, sorry black has to take after pawn capture h5 bishop capture on f5 and white is having winning position now white just need his bishop on e8 to collect this pawn on h5 so here comes king to f6 and here comes bishop to e4 now king to g7 bishop to f3 attacking pawn on h5 king to h6 force and now king to b5 very clever move again uh, idea is bishop to c6 followed by bishop to e8 and in this position if it's a black to move black has to either move his bishop then you can collect pawn on b6 either to move the king then you can win this pawn on h5 so here king to g6 was played and again you supposed to uh, stop this uh, king f5 so bishop to d1 was played and indeed king to f5 is not possible because of uh, bishop capture h5 and this g4 is uh, g4 square has been covered so king cannot go to g4 and win this pawn on g3 so after king g6 and bishop to d1 king to h6 was played and now comes bishop to e2 king g6 and now bishop to f3 again king to h6 and now bishop to c6 the idea is after king to g6 and this bishop to e8 wins so after actually bishop c6 Magnus opponent resigned but let's have a look why he resigned after king to g6 white can play bishop to e8 and once you move this king to h6 back and then simply this bishop to f7 wins material because king has to move then bishop capture h5 if bishop moves then king capture on b6 is just winning and unfortunately you can can't go this uh, king to f5 because of bishop capture h5 where g4 square is still covered and this is completely winning position for white and therefore when magnus played this bishop to c6 actually black resigned in this position so friends how was the video i hope you did enjoy this video if you do like my content please do subscribe this channel for more videos thanks for watching bye bye